Eric Holland with Sound Advice. Hooray for the Riff Raff is based in New Orleans, but they're led by Bronx native Alinda Lee Seguera, who spoke with me backstage at the Highline Ballroom after their show this week. Well, I feel like growing up in New York was a really big privilege. I was, able, I was just exposed to so many different cultures and so much great art and writing. Um, I really, when I was in high school, I was really involved in the poetry scene which is really amazing to just help me become the songwriter that I am today. And then New Orleans is where I really honed in on my musical abilities and just learning a lot from the jazz musicians down there and the folk musicians down there. I felt like I was really curious about what the rest of the country was like because I was such a New Yorker, you know? I was just in this bubble and I was really curious to see how other people lived and what other music was like, you know, like going down south really uh, influenced me a lot just to learn about Appalachian music and Cajun music. Well, I got the blues for my baby, left me by the San Francisco Bay. Yeah, I got the blues for my baby, left me by the San Francisco Bay. Yeah, there's a lot of different styles that we go for, and we try to blend them all together. There's a, actually a lot of um, doo-wop influence, uh, like 1950s and 60s music, but there's definitely a lot of singer-songwriter, like Towns Van Zandt and early Bob Dylan, that really influences me. And more modern artists like Lucinda Williams and Gillian Welsh. Hooray for the Riff Raff's new album, Small Town Heroes, will be out next month, and they'll play Lincoln Center on April 3rd. For New York One, I'm Eric Holland of WFUV.